Body bags will horrorize. Hey guys, and welcome to week 180, I believe it is, here of Body Bags. I'm your Tuesday Review 1993 Horror Freak Reviews, and today I'll be reviewing the best Amityville horror film ever. The Amityville Haunting, and before you will click off or throw something at your computer, I am being sarcastic. <laughs> um, the Amityville the Haunting follows um, this family and they move into the Amityville house. Um, I believe they say nothing's. I believe other people have been living in the house. Um, maybe not. Pretty much they've moved into the Amityville house, and um, of course. As we all know, if you're going to move into the Amityville house, shit's going to happen. Um, pretty much, the daughter makes an um, makes a um, invisible friend, and sort of weird stuff starts happening around the house. Pretty much things you would, I guess, um, pretty much seeing a um, you've seen in a found footage film. And yes, I did say found footage. This is a found footage film. Um, I have nothing against found footage films, really. I'm always intrigued when going into them, how they're going to be. Um, I don't really have high hopes for a lot of things, especially found footage film of the Amiel Haunting. Um, I have seen this before, ages ago. Um, I think I got it first at my Blockbuster, and I'm pretty sure I did buy this at Blockbuster too. Um, it's a found footage film. Um, just the characters are annoying. Nothing happens. Um, it's really... What we have is a kid using a camera, whinging about his life. Oh, this happened. They don't believe me. <laughs> it's just the same stuff. It's just him whinging really for the whole entire film. And then stuff starts happening. Like, oh, okay, maybe something is creepy. People were dying at the start of it too. Uh, you know, the father's very much a um, drill sergeant. I guess he's, um, I think... I don't know if they mention it, but I'd say he's like ex-military kind of army guy. Um, very strict on the kids. Um, and yeah, for me, this film brought nothing to the Amityville haunting, Amityville um, franchise. This is a film for I forget when this was made, but because the back of it doesn't say much, or my back's like that. But yeah, I was wondering what to review. I'm like. Just review that. It's sitting there. It was not just sitting on my desk. I'm like, I'll review that. Um, yeah, if you're a fan of the Amityville franchise, don't watch it. It's just one of those films, like, if you want it in your collection, I guess, but if you want it in your collection, buy it dirt cheap. Because I bought it from Blockbuster, so I wouldn't have paid more than $2 for it. It's not really worth anything more than $2. Um, you know, just so they could have done something with this found footage in the Amityville haunting it, like, oh, sorry, I keep saying haunting the Amityville, they could have done something with it being found footage, but instead it was like every other single paranormal activity delivery, it was just all those films, pretty much. It was just, hey, found footage, it's popular, um, I'd say this would have been around the same time as paranormal activity and that. Let's die, let's just pretty much jump on the bandwagon for it. So yeah, I think if Pete, I just wish franchises are thinking about doing that. Think of something creative because in the end, all you're really doing is hurting the franchise. You need to be smart about this, go, okay, what's paranormal what to be done? Okay, well, how can we do this differently? So, yeah. For me, I don't recommend this film. Um, it's not that great with found footage film. Um, I was bored with it. Um, just the characters just... I didn't like it, just very forced. The family seemed very forced. Um, and yeah. Um, my rating is a 3 out of 10, and that's probably being a bit generous, but I think we could have we could have done really well with this film, and they chose not to. So um, apparently, I'm pretty sure the next only reel is a um, found footage as well. I'm not 100% too sure, don't quote me on that. I don't think I've seen a trailer. I think I've seen a bit of it, um, but. Yeah, anyway, comment below if you've seen this one and what you thought about it, and I will see you all next Tuesday with another review. Goodbye.